Ah, yes. Where have you been my entire life? Oh, there's a backside. We love acrylic upgrades. All right, let's have a quick look at the Myth Drop versus non-Myth Drop version. Oh, wow. The final missing piece. Clearly, we have quite a fun way to end the unboxing series for 2023. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wolfpack. A huge thank you to Lucky Duck for sponsoring that segment of today's unboxing video. And with that said, y'all, we have, uh, we've got some fun things to do today. So let's dive right in. Box number one is, oh my God, I had no idea it even shipped out. Come on. We have the expansion to Return to Dark Tower. You all know how I feel about this game. I absolutely love this game. One of my favorites. And I totally did not realize that this was shipping out already. When it comes to crowdfunding, I feel like I just back it and then I forget about it until it arrives at my doorstep. Let me know if you're the same, but honestly, once I back a game, I kind of forget about it. That's why I'm like really bad with the pledge manager because I just forget about it and I see the update emails and I'm like, oh, I'll get to it, oh, I'll get to it. And then sometimes I'll like really forget and I just don't fill out anything. I don't receive the game and that's on me. But aside from that, I usually just forget about the game until it arrives at my doorstep. And this right here is the case in point. The original game had the white skulls, but then now they have like a bunch of different colored ones. Let's see what else we got here. We have the coffers too. Oh, heck yes. I, I definitely wanted something like this. So in the game, way more satisfying. These are acrylic pieces now versus before, which are all carbon pieces. We love acrylic upgrades. That's a huge weakness for me too. If I ever see a Kickstarter campaign with acrylic upgrades, I'm all in for all that. Like resources, and like acrylic tokens to replace all the cardboard ones. I'm a sucker for those. Here are all of the resource upgrades for the game as well. Oh, they look so good. We got card sleeves. The Alliances expansion coming with, I think four more fact, oh, two more heroes. We have guilds now, new heroes, two new heroes, and power skulls. So these skulls do matter then. I guess the color has a specific power associated with each one, which is really cool. And then we also have some influence tokens, a bunch of brand new artifacts and guild flags. We also have a guild quest marker and lots of other new treasures to, to play with. You know, initially I didn't think Return of Dark Tower needed an expansion, but I think once I played through each character, I really wanted to see a lot more from the game. So I'm glad that they added a bunch of new things. They have guilds, new characters, and all of these resource upgrades. So it makes me want to dive back into the game. Let's push this off to the side for now. Hold on, how did I completely gloss over this? These are all the mini upgrades for the monsters in the game. Careful, careful. Yes. Side note, I did back this all on my own. The rest of this video is not sponsored. Oh, heck yes. These are so much better. See these guild markers? Initially in the game, they're like two cardboard pieces. So there's a vertical piece and a horizontal piece and they always fall off. So this is such a major upgrade to having like the quest tokens on the map. It's so much more easier to see as well. And these minis definitely make it feel like the scale, like look at that dragon. See this, this right here, it definitely gives a scale to the monsters versus having it in app. So I think specifically to Return of Dark Tower with the app integration and everything, it does take you a little bit away from like the board game piece, but I'm glad all these miniatures, honestly, bring you back into the game. So I absolutely love that. And I'm excited to dive back into Return of Dark Tower. Dennis, if you're watching this, we gotta get this one played, man. Return Dark Tower, Dark Horde. All right, next up, let's open up this one. This one's coming from shipping department. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of nice that I don't really know where the packages are coming from because then it keeps it like a surprise until I fully open it. Ooh, Chip Theory Games. See that logo right there? 20 strong. Oh, I recognize that from a mile away. Chip Theory Games, thank you so much for sending this over. 
Now, by the way, I do have Hoppelmachus Victorum on my list to get played right after Earthborn Rangers, which I've been talking about for quite some time now. But for my next set of solo games, it is up there. Hoppelmachus Victorum. Now, along with, oh my God, dude, I love, love the quality of Chip Theory games. I just see the packaging and everything. And I'm just like, damn. Ask Chip Theory Games, how do you elevate a card game? And they will respond with something as beautiful as this. This is wild. Just look at the packaging for this. Like this is a deck of cards, y'all. Oh, I'm supposed to breeze through this, but honestly, I'm gonna make this like a three hour video at this rate, but it's okay because I cannot move on without seeing the quality of what's inside these boxes. 20 strong, look at this deck of cards right here. We'll open this up. Ooh. Instruction booklet. We also have the dice and this is probably like a health marker, I'm assuming. Oh my God, look at this. This looks so freaking beautiful. You know the quality that Chip Theory Games puts out. So this is honestly unsurprising and in a great way. Also have a set of cards. I'm not sure if this is like a promo or anything. Oh yeah, it is. The Tanglewood promo cards. I haven't heard of Tanglewoods. Is that like a new thing that they're coming out with? Or is that a collaboration that they have with another publisher? Let me know if you know what Tanglewoods is. So the next one is from Yvette and it is, it says the Great Wave D-Ring Belt. Hi, Tim Dragon. My wings open and close and my talents also can be moved a bit. Wait, wow, wow. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I know who you are. Thanks, Yvette, also known as Wow Wow. I see you comment on my videos all the time. Thank you so much, Yvette. And sorry this took so long to unbox. Thanks for the awesome and fun YouTube content. I hope you like this dragon. I found it at a local fair in San Antonio and included the creator's business card in case you wanted uh, a different color or size. He made the other creatures too for laser printing. Have a good rest of your day, Yvette. Thank you so much, Yvette. This is incredibly kind of you. Let's go ahead and see this wild dragon that you're talking about. I'm trying to hopefully not break this. This is laser printed? How do you laser print things like this is insane? Yo, look at this dragon. This is definitely going on my shelf right after this. Oh my God. You can even open its wings and everything. Like look, it like spreads its wings out and everything. And this is from Chaotic Tune Creations. Here's all of the contact info for that as well. Go ahead and zoom in so you can see. Matt Tune. Chaotic Tune Creations. Yvette, thank you so much. That was incredibly kind of you to send us over and to think of you as you're going to the fair. I, I would love to visit like, I don't know if it's like a Renaissance fair you went to, but count me in for all of those. This is so cool. Now I kind of want to put fishing line and just hang them in my like drawer. So that way it looks like all these dragons are flying <laughs> in my captains. So Yvette, thank you so much for sending this over. I really appreciate it. And I hope you had, hope you had a happy holiday as well. Next package we have, oh, this is something that I bought myself as well during the Game Nerd sale from Bonds. Actually, I didn't even know Game Nerds had a sale until like Bonds like streamed the whole thing. And I picked up Wolverine because I just absolutely had to. I really need to dive back into Marvel Champions. It's been way, way too long since I've pushed off that game, but I am so excited for it, especially since I saw Wolverine. Now the next one, this one came to me actually opened already before I even knew it was not supposed to be open for a certain date. But basically, GameFound sent this over and it wasn't supposed to be open until like their 1 millionth celebration, but I didn't get a chance to film the unboxing till now. And in said box, which I did open, I did open, I'll be honest, I did open it, but I didn't like look through it. I kind of just like scanned it. I was like, oh shoot, I should be open this. And I closed it back. So here's a lock that was supposed to be locked and it's still locked into like the bottom, but not the top. And this is for unlocking backer number 1 million. Hi Tim, this is it. We reached an exciting milestone. We want you to be part of our celebration. Enjoy the gift box and spread the joy. Thank you for creating such an amazing community with us. Game found. Thank you so much for sending this over. Highly, highly appreciate it. Let's see what they got in here. We have, oh, I was like, is there food in here? Because if there is, it's definitely been in here for like a month. Oh no, it was. I had no idea. I'm sorry. I had no idea this was supposed to be food. Okay, well, this is a cupcake. Honestly, I'm surprised at how well it's like stood up because it smells still super good and like sugary. But we'll put that off to the side for now. Backer number 1 million unlocked. Got a hat. We have a, ooh, a game found shirt. Oh, wow, this is not a candle. This is like cookie dough. Interesting. One cookie in a million. And then we also have 
some balloons as well. Game found, thank you so much for sending me this awesome creator box. Absolutely love it. Full of awesome goodies. I appreciate you thanking me and congratulations on the giant milestone, which I'm sure you are way well past as of now. Next one, this is from Adam's Apples Games. Sent a copy of Agree to Disagree. I think this is a party game. Now the reason why I was interested in this party game is literally because of the title, Agree to Disagree. And during the holidays is usually when all my friends come back into town and this is like the perfect time for me to test out party games. And Agree to Disagree is literally right up our alley. Like the point of this game is that you're trying to, I think there's like a certain topic where you lock in your opinion, right? And then you're dividing the room, which is, if we're dividing the room in our gaming group, it's already gonna be a great time. So we divide the room. And then right afterwards, you're supposed to connect this mechanism together and you score points if you are literally agreeing to disagree with whatever topic that it is. So I will let you know how this goes. I will be doing a quick review on this to see how much uh, it pairs well with our gaming group, but overall, very excited for it. And it's gonna, I feel like I have to close all the windows and all the shades because it's gonna be loud once we play a game like this. So agree, disagree. Thank you so much for sending this over. Shall we open one of the big boxes now? This next one, all the way from Canada, is a project, probably my next biggest project that I'll be working on with a, a really fun concept that I have in mind. I have, I literally have everything in my head envisioned for it. The set, the music, the sound design, even like the types of visual imagery that I wanna open up with, the bass hits, I have like everything in my head. I just need to write it down and get my team to, to get started on this and to actually play the game too. On top of that, that way it'll make it 10 times better. This package is from Open Owl Studios and it is a copy of Mythwind. We've got Expanded Horizons. This really beautiful journal. Aside from having a giant collection of board games, I also have an, a very unhealthy collection of notebooks as well. And I love, love blank notebooks like this, like with a cover. I don't know the exact material name, but especially like a smooth cover like this and a custom logo engraved on top. Ooh, and then straps to close said notebook. What else we have in here? We've got, we have another box of Expanded Horizons, but I think this one, the difference here is, one is Myth Drop, which has that initial paint of minis. And this one is the regular version. I'll open this up in a second. And then again, Magical Minis, also with Myth Drop and non Myth Dropped. The game itself, oh, it is more compact than I thought it'd be. Remember what I told you about resources? We got Metal Coins, along with the event card pack. Ooh, we love a storybook. And then last but not least, the neoprene game map. Okay, let me go ahead and open all this up. As I know, before I film anything, I love kind of just scanning through the artwork because then it gives me a lot of ideas on how to film everything and how like the overall theme and like, for lack of a better term, vibe will be. So here, by just looking at the artwork, which is absolutely incredible, cozy, inviting. I feel like it's a very, very warm game, very relaxed game. And if you look at the artwork here, it just looks so stunning, so beautiful. The reason why I love seeing the before and after is because I do the exact same thing on my channel. I love showing the after, which is like the final product. And then after that, I'll go ahead and show behind the scenes about how like I broke down the whole process from start to beginning. Let's have a look at these beautiful gold coins. Wow, these are hefty. All right, let's have a quick look at the myth drop versus non myth drop version. And honestly, this is a huge difference. So we look here, this right here is of course the non myth drop version. To scale, they're pretty big. Like look at this size of metric compared to like my hand. It's bigger than I thought it'd be, especially with this like giant Trent figure, right? And then if you add in all those paint details, my God, like, look at the massive difference between the two. Like there's so much more detail in the ridges and the colors really match and it fits perfectly, right? With the paint, it actually looks like wooden components. All of the journals for the different classes that you can play as. There is the begin here guide and a map along with all of the tokens and inserts. And this right here is one of my favorite parts about Mythwin when I first saw it. And that is all of the player trays along with these trays. The big captivating moment for me from what I've seen so far in like the trailers that they've had is that everything can be saved literally on your player board. You put it back in because we love when it's convenient to like play through a campaign game. And you don't have to do so many things for like the upkeep and the saving 
and just figure out how to organize everything. So see this, this right here, this is what we want to see in campaign games. When it comes down to it, player convenience, right? Everything tucked in with a perfectly fitted slot. Super easy to grab. Again, these are the myth drop versions of all the characters. And then to save everything back, all you do, take all your trays, slide that back in and done. Save for your next campaign. And the last one, I want to open the Expanded Horizons. Here is an Innkeeper Journal. We have all the extra tokens. And of course, more player trays. I feel like this is a character expansion so far. I, I gotta say though, with the myth drop and everything, this is definitely one of the most detailed minis I've seen, especially for like a specific character. Like you can literally see all the individual details on like the cup she's holding and to her outfit, to even like her socks and stuff. That's wild. Oh, there's a backside. All right, y'all, that was a first look at Mythuin. I can't wait to show you all what we have planned for this commercial coming up very, very soon and photos. But till then, we have one, two, three, four, five more boxes to get through. Next up here, we have, oh, how funny. I forgot that I actually backed this game. So Sweet Mess, um, I did cover this. I did a full review on this back when, I think it was like an earlier prototype copy, but this is the final version of the game. I guess that's being delivered to backers because I did back this game initially on my own back before, you know, the whole <laughs> ordeal with a sweet mess being lost to the darkness. Oh, wow, metal tokens, heck yes. These look good. They even have like raised ridges on each of those individual numbers too. That's super nice. And then a neoprene player mat. Beautiful. And this little ice cream module too. I think this might be the one that increases play interaction. I'm not totally sure. As a side note, if you're enjoying the unboxing so far, we'd love to have you hang out here more often and feel free to subscribe down below. Okay, we have four, I don't know how many boxes we've gone through this already, but I feel like we've gone through the most for this end of the year unboxing. Oh, I also didn't tell you why this is gonna be the last one because we do have about a month left, but the reason why is because this next month, okay, I wanna focus in on playing a lot. We've actually been playing a lot of games in the past month or two, but I really wanna get to playing more and then also talking about them and doing a lot more reviews. So December, I wanna focus in on doing a lot of reviews. That's why I wanna stop doing unboxings until next year. Oh, what is this? How funny, right in time for the holidays, we have a little Christmas box. There's like blood on this box. I have no idea who this is from. Oh, wow, <laughs> Betrayal, that's right. Okay, so this is from Betrayal, the Yuletide Tale. I think it's an expansion to the classic game. Got a little red envelope here. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. <laughs> okay, this is dark. On behalf of Avalon Hill, we are thrilled to gift you the Betrayal at House on the Hill, the third edition base game. In addition to Betrayal, the Yuletide Tale, Evil Reigns in the Winter's Pale Expansion Pack. That is a, that is a mouthful. So Betrayal is actually one of my first ever gateway games. My cousin introduced me to this game and I feel like from there, it was a huge, huge stepping off point to dive way deeper into the board game hobby. That's why this game has a special place in my heart. And I've never owned it actually because my cousin always had it. So we would always go to her house to play. And now we get a brand new addition to add to my own personal collection. So Avalon Hill, thank you so much for sending this over. I really appreciate it. This game is super special, near and dear to my heart. And on top of that, we get to also experience the brand new expansion as well. Side note, this has got to be the coolest packaging ever for a Christmas themed game. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to play Betrayal again. By the way, did any of you get anything from your local gaming stores or wherever for Black Friday for any games? I, I tried really hard not to, and I didn't so far because I'm actually like, I'm like seven games away from completing my collection. This is before all the <laughs> games that you just saw open today. Okay, so not counting what we opened today, I'm like seven games away from completing my entire collection. So until then, I will refrain from purchasing any games myself. But let me know in the comments what you picked up for Black Friday, because then I'm definitely gonna add that to my shopping list, maybe for like Christmas or probably before Christmas at this rate. Oh, Among Cultists. This was sent to me from Godot or Godo Games. I think it's Godot. Again, the timing is like literally perfect because we are getting closer to the holidays and I love playing more 
like more involved and more unique party game. So I feel like Among Cultists being a social deduction thriller would be a great fit for all my friends coming in for the holidays. In this game, you're playing as a secret society and you're trying to prevent the ritual of a sinister cult before a dormant evil is awakened. I love social deduction games where it gives a really fun premise and where it gives more depth to the rules and it's not as open-ended. And I feel like Among Cultists would be a really good fit for that. So I can't wait to dive into this game during the holidays. It's gonna be super fun. Go Dog Games, thank you so much for sending this over and I can't wait to play this one. Oh my God, so many fun packages today. We have two packages left. Ah, yes. Where have you been my entire life? Here we have the second edition of Oathsworn, the first campaign game that I am committed to finishing. And I did stop through like the first edition at chapter seven because the second edition was coming and then arrived. So then I'm just gonna wait and restart the campaign over, which is totally fine with me because I don't mind experiencing it all over again. So Oathsworn, Into the Deep Wood. Here is Mystery Chest one and two. Oh, how cool they included the armory for this. And a secret box, which I don't think I got last time. Metal coins, dice, upgraded. I think these are the individual class bags, the dice tray. Ah, yes, in all its glory. Oh, sworn, second edition, in all of its glory. Beautiful. I'm not gonna open it just in case it is a spoiler. So I will leave that in there. Spoiler warning. This is also an art book, but again, I don't wanna open it just in case there are spoilers here. The terrain box. This right here is what really brings Osworn to life. Not to say all the other giant miniatures and everything don't, but the terrain box, I just, I love games with terrain. The final missing piece that I needed, not want, okay, needed. And I did buy this myself. The one and only Dwellings of Eldervale playmat. The glory that is this. This is so epic. First off, the quality of this playmat for the Dwellings of Eldervale is thicker than typical playmats. This has got to be bigger than like a standard size dining table. I cannot wait to play Dwellings now with this final piece of the collection. I sleeved all the dungeon cards. I would love to sleeve the magic cards too, but I can't find a good sleeve that fits that specific size, the small ones. This is the final upgrade that I've been waiting for. I'm so glad that it finally went back in stock. All right, Wolfpack, thank you all so much for joining me on the final unboxing for 2023. Don't worry, we'll come back to unboxings in about a month or so because it's almost December already. But I do have one last important thing to tell you, and that is my next video right after this one is gonna be humongous. It's going to be the top five board games of all time. You don't wanna miss it. So again, subscribe if you aren't already hit those notification bells because you do not want to miss this next upload. It's gonna be super fun. I will be wrapping up B-roll next couple of days, editing it out, and it's gonna be a good time. Thank you so much for joining me on today's unboxing. And for everyone that sent me things, thank you all so much. I can't wait to dive into these games as well. And we'll see you all in the next one.